Sorry, I couldn't uh, see a better place for that gorgeous piece of art. Yeah, the young artist who, who sculpted this, uh, Party Casey from County Clare, I think has done a, a great service and you know to be able to t take a big piece of marble and then to get the likeness of Bobby Sands and it's here in Common the Murdoch uh, which is very appropriate and thanks to the Common, thanks to the Bobby Sands Trust and particularly to the sculptor for his work. Of course we're on the cusp of a very important commemoration in Derry Lynn on Sunday. Well, I'm very mindful, and uh, today is the anniversary of Kevin Lynch, and you know there's a whole litany of hunger strikers dying over this uh, period. So it is important in Bobby Sands's constituency that we come together and pay homage and celebrate. You know, it's a celebration. These were very ordinary men and women in Armagh Women's Prison and in the uh, hits blocks of Long Cash who faced down. Uh, a right wing government in in London and by using their own lives in a way against the might of that that government both improved the conditions for the prisoners at a huge cost to themselves and their families. But also in what we're now enjoying in our peace process, when you look at other parts of the world, you know, and while our peace process is very imperfect, uh, it's 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 much, much better than what we're seeing visited upon people in the Middle East and Syria and Gaza and uh, Ukraine and in, and and in other places. So, you know, the the, the the hunger strikes was a tipping point, it was a, a watershed moment, and no better uh, role model of any any activist at all is looking for a role model. No better role model than the man of the hits blocks and of the hunger strike. The poignancy of Sunday's celebration is going to be added to by the inclusion of the Palestinian ambassador to Ireland. Yes, one can be 100% certain, and I knew Bobby Sands well in the cage, he's a long case, and in cage 11, and that he would be standing loudly and proudly alongside the people of Gaza or Palestine, that he would want peace in the Middle East, that he would be for uh, a settlement there which was based upon equality and in fairness. And it is important, but when an Irish government has lost its way entirely on this issue, to abstain on, on, on this matter, to give the sort of uh, very slavine uh, excuses that have been given for their posture, the refusal even of the government to recall uh, the doll. Uh, it's it's important that the rest of us, and not just Republicans, but you know people who love fairness and freedom, that we stand fair and square behind the people of uh, Gaza. So I do think that it's uh, it's it's very fitting that the that, that the Palestinian people are going to be represented along with us on Sunday.